Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Stylosa. And what we're going to do in this video is show you guys how to use the new replay system to watch your own games back to then get better at the game, right? You have to be self-critical, but you have to be critical in a way which is actually going to let you learn and, and become a better player. And that's what I'm going to show you in this video. So what we're going to be looking at is, this is me. I'm playing McCree. We do have a Bastion Bunker comp, as you can kind of see here. Uh, I'll turn the UI on in a second, but you can see we've got our Mercy there. Uh, we've got our Arissa at the back there, slowly making our way towards the point. Uh, we've got the Bastion. We've got Hog. Uh, we've got Batiste. Yeah, it's a Bunker comp with Arissa, Hog, McCree. It's actually a super strong comp. It's Paris. It works really well on this map. So, yeah, actually, before we before we do this, let's, let's bring the UI up. But... Before we get into this, let's go full screen, because I'll, I'll say this, this is a win. So you might be thinking, Stai, what is actually the point of going back and watching this? You, you win the game, right? Well, I can guarantee you, I will make so many mistakes, it will be honestly quite embarrassing. From that though, from identifying the mistakes, you won't make them in the next game, because I played a game after this, I don't remember really what happened in this game, I don't remember my little mistakes, but if I go back and watch it, then I will, and I'll be like, what am I doing? Why am I not doing this? You know, I'm playing McCree, so I I'm sure there'll be times where I don't use the Arissa barrier correctly, maybe I, you know, jump out in front of it, I don't know, like, we're gonna find out, let's do it, alright, let's get stuck into this, so, let's go, alright, let's play, um, we'll leave the speed at normal, just because we can see the comps that both teams are running, the enemy team are running like Hammond sort of dive into this, Kind of. Which is fine. Obviously, at the start here, there's going to be a lot of spam coming through. Like, the Hammond gets in. So, you, I, like, I'm obviously thinking, okay, the Hammond's got in. Need to keep an eye on that. The rest of the team come around here. In fact, if we if we, if we we bring over the overlay here, we can sort of see a little bit better. Uh, also, there's the identification there of a Farrah. So, I know there's Farrah there. And I know the Hammond's on the point. So, I'll tell you what. With this information we've got, let's jump on board with me. Where am I? I'm F3. And let's see what I do. Let's slow it down as well. Okay. So I'm trying to take some shots at the Genji. Missed all of my shots. But one thing I've got to say about that, missing your shots, you will miss your... It's the, the old adage, right? You, you'll miss shots that you, you don't take, right? So I'm not too fussed about that. I should have probably hit some shots there. But hey, it's new Machine Gun McCree. Who cares? So I'm turning around because I know there's a Hammond. Alright, so I'm sort of in no man's land a little bit. Okay. Fine shot on the Farah. Farah really shouldn't have been there though. That's actually kind of bad for the Farah. Farah should never have been there in a million years. But whatever, we'll take the kill. I mean, I got um, 42 a limb there. So I did 42 damage, I guess. And Well, not 42 damage. He's got more than 100 health. But you get what I'm saying. Um, and then Bastion finished that off. I've identified the Genji on the side again. This Genji's way out of position. So it's fine for me to just spam shots in. So I fired two shots there. Now, I, I am going to be quite critical here of myself, but I fired two shots into that Genji as he was deflecting. That's really bad. Like, I don't know why I did that. Three shots into him. Really, really bad. I'm not sure why I did that. Okay, now I'm just firing at him, whatever. Okay, let's speed this up again because they've kind of backed off. Again, this is okay because I'm using the barriers, so I don't really have much of an issue right now. We, of course, we know there's no enemy ultimates in play. I don't really mind this. Again, I'm going to go to the side to try and deflect the Genji. I quite like that. Okay, right. Now, this is where it's going to get interesting. So, there's a Genji and a McCree, and the McCree's damage boosted. This is not really something I want to take, so Stai, I would disengage. I didn't really disengage, and I fired two shots into a deflecting Genji again. So this is a problem I'm seeing. I, I have a problem with firing into a deflecting Genji for some reason. Hmm. Alright, so I'm, I've come back to use cover. Couple of nice hits on the Ana. The Ana's dead. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Killed the Tracer with flashbang. Somebody's on the point, but it's just a Hammond. Like, I mean, this Hammond now it needs to get the hell out. Or die, but... Do we get him? Okay. So, at the moment, the big takeaway I, I, I'm, I'm getting from this is I'm firing into a deflecting Genji, which is really, really stupid. Like, why am I doing that? 
Okay, so now we're getting to the point where ultimates are starting to come online. So if, if we come out of the first person camera view here and look at this, so I will be thinking to myself right now, okay, Genji's probably got his ultimate. I mean, we can see Genji doesn't have his ultimate. That's because the Genji hasn't really been doing anything. Now, if Genji did have his ult, then I'm going to have to be aware of that. Also, the tracer, I don't really want the tracer to get into the back line. So my plan, and I always talk about this, don't I, with overanalyze, but my plan right now is... I need to be aware of Tracer flanks. Also, if Hammond wants to go on a mad flank as well, I don't mind taking Hammond on. Uh, and also, if Genji's got his blade, I kind of need to flash him as he comes in. Or at least be there to, to sort of screw him over, right? Because if Genji's deflecting while he's using his blade, and, and he might have Nano Blade here because they do have an, uh, an Ana, then that's a bit of a win for our team, right? Because the threat of the McCree might make him do that. So, uh, all right, let's carry it. Let's jump back on board with me. Uh, so we just see what I can do. Okay, I didn't really use the barrier there. I kind of got tagged a bit. Genji super low. See, in this game, the enemy team are not very coordinated at all. I think this was about 3.7k rate, if I remember this match. Um, I don't know what the enemy team are doing, right? They're just sort of trickling in. They're dying. Dying like this is bad for them and really good for us. Because, like, I mean, they need to regroup before they can attack. All right. Ah! Wow. You know what? That actually, look at that. What? That would have been a headshot. I, you what, Blizzard? That was a head. Look at that. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. So where am I firing from here? Where am I? Like there I am, right? So let's follow the weapon. Yeah. Okay, I'm shooting there. Oh my god, that is that is that's a headshot. Saved by the railing. That is. I mean, that's incredible. That is cool as hell. All right, okay, Tracer, you get you, you get away this time, Tracer. Ah, oh, she gets away this time. Okay, <laughs> right, let's get back on board with me. All right, so Tracer is in. I know she's in, and I'm backing off. All right, so this isn't bad. Okay, let's slow this down. Like this isn't bad because we know Tracer's behind us, right? I'm crouching as well, so Tracer can't hear me. See, these are all little things that you do, which is difficult to sort of. Highlight when you, you just don't have this replay tool. This replay tool is so goddamn good. I just wish we could share replays because then overanalyze could be like this and it would be absolutely incredible. All right, okay, so we go forward. <laughs> right then, so we find the tracer. She blinks away from the flashbang. Okay, we're trying to shoot her. Now, disclaimer <laughs> this isn't an insta win duel for McCree. This is actually, this is one of the best duels, really. Um, yeah, McCree is, okay, she count, he counts Tracer if he flashbangs her. But if you don't, then it, it's actually quite difficult to kill Tracer. Now, so it's, it's a nice sort of skill matchup. But I do have uh, a boost here from, oh, uh, look at that. If any of those shots he, was a headshot, she is dead. And, and remember, the increased fire rate of McCree, it makes him super deadly. Okay, so I punched too late. She blinked away. Slow reactions. Then I have to reload. I can't roll. I'm super low now, so I'm worried. Mercy heals me. There was a heal grenade coming there from um, Ab Batiste as well. So our supports kept me alive here. I would be dead if the supports didn't keep me alive. I was probably shouting on the voice comms for healing at this point. Right, I, I, even our hog's coming back. So everybody's coming back to kill this tracer. Now, this is a bit of a worry, right? Because what's going on in the front line? Really, I should be enough to deal with this, especially with the mercy help. Yes. Again, I missed the flashbang. What we'll do is we'll watch this back in real time after this. All right, okay, we're going to go back here. So I killed her after that seemed like quite a long duel, really. Okay, uh, actually, this is right at the start of it. Okay, this is cool. All right, so what we'll do is we'll put this into normal speed, and then we will... Let's see what happens, right? Let's just watch this. Okay, I'm going to pause just because that flash was really close, right? So actually, it, there was like a split second there where Tracer blinked before the flash. Tried to melee, but missed. I think he's just unlucky I didn't hit those shots. Okay, so it doesn't look as bad when it's in real speed, right? It looks like I was trying to aim fairly well. I think I did okay there. I don't really think... 
I can be too harsh on myself. I mean, there was moments there where we almost hit the tracer, literally like millimeters away from like shooting her in the head. So I don't know. Like that's just, I guess that's one of those jewels. Anyway, we've got a problem with the front line here because I can hear Genji and I am trying to focus him. All right, so we did use a ton of ultimates here. So look, we've got three ultimates active. This is a lot just for a Genji blade. And a McCree, it looks like McCree used his ulti. Probably should have landed that flash, but hey, you know. All right, so... Okay, so things I need to be really worried about now is Trace has almost got a pulse bomb. And I would have been aware of this because that Trace has been in play for a while now. Uh, and Trace gets him, pulse bombs the Bastion. That could be bad for us if Batiste doesn't have his immortality field ready. Yeah, like look at the enemy team comp now. I think the enemy are literally throwing now because they're just like, I'm going to play Bastion. Bastion on attack here with, with no support really is just not going to work, so... I do have Deadeye, though, so I need to be thinking, all right, I've got Deadeye. How can I use that? All right. Nice halt combo. Right. Okay, so let's jump out of this, and let's bring up the overlay again. And let's go up into the space. All right, so what are we using here? What's our team investing? So we've got a Bongo in play. Uh, I did manage to stun the Hammond, so that's pretty good. I'm in a nice sort of safe position there. Tracer is starting to flank. Um, actually, you know, I said this is a bad idea. Actually, this isn't too bad off the enemy team. It's actually kind of cute, that is, right? Look, look at the placement of the immortality field. The Bastion literally cannot die, so it can just sit there and blast. Thing is, though, we do have a Roadhog on our team, so this is really, really dangerous because this Bastion could just be pulled into place. So this isn't a terribly bad idea from the enemy team, but, I mean, it's a bit unorthodox let's say all right let's slow this down and play it and see just what kind of breaks out okay so i stun the hammond the hammond is getting obliterated and he's dead so this should be a one fight for us now because they have no let's jump back on board with me they have no okay let's see what i'm doing here uh the tracer is a big worry to me here and and i'm not really I'm not, I'm not sure I like what I'm doing here. Let's speed this up because I think... Yeah, I don't like what I'm doing here. There's the pulse bomb. So I did not stop that at all. Tracer was flanking. I know she was flanking because I could hear the, the blinks going off. But I didn't actually really pay attention to it. And I was just too tunnel vision shooting the Bastion, which could not die. But I'll take that. I will take... That is a... That, that only happened because I, had, I was bongoed. That was two body shots. I, I probably would have killed her anyway, but that was good, right? That was actually really good. I tell you what, let's um, let's just jump back and let's play this again. Let's see what happened here. So, Chase is going to come in. Right. So, from this, let's really slow this down and just run through this again. So, Hammond comes in. That's a good flash there because that lets Bastion destroy the Hammond. I could have shot the Hammond though there, but I kind of didn't. I just fired at the Bastion. Hammond died anyway, so doesn't really matter. I just get tunnel vision shooting this and, and and don't pay attention to the tracer. And the tracer could do some massive damage here. Because I don't think we've got... We don't have immortality field here at all. I know we don't. Yeah, look, it's 15 second cooldown. So we don't have immortality field. This is like a big... Uh-oh! We could have... Th this could have broke the, the team. And, okay, Batiste probably should have kept his immortality field, maybe, expecting for it. But also, I should have been there to try and deflect that tracer, and I simply wasn't. That is a problem. So I need to be more aware of what, they, what they're doing. However, I mean, we, we, well, we lose Orissa, we lose Bastion. I turn around here and, and get two... Like, that's a body shot. That's two body shots, but they're damage boosted, so she's dead. So that's actually really good, because if I didn't kill her, we're going to be in a bad place, because we do get the res up on Bastion. So, it was okay. It's this high noon. this high noon is... Why have you done this, Stai? And I think I'm about to kill whoever's in the sky. Yeah. I could have killed him anyway, just firing at him. I don't need Deadeye to do that. I think I was just sort of... I probably was buzzing because I killed Tracer, so I'm like, it's straight into high noon. Now, is this bad or good? I don't know, actually. Like, this is sort of... <sighs> I'm going to say that's a waste. I don't think I should have used it, though. 
But it's it's Dead Eye. Dead Eye's not that great, right? So it's like ah. But remember, we're going into the final push now. So, well, one of the final pushes, I'd say. I don't know, man. All right, so our Roadhog's getting cheeky. He's going forward. I'm not really using the barrier. Okay, I am now. So at least I am using the barrier. Which, like, the, the thing with McCree is, is obviously really squishy. So even though he's buffed, he's still really, really squishy. So I can't just run around on my own and expect to survive. What am I trying to do here? All right. So... Could I really have done anything about that there? I sort of had Hammond come in, dropped his ultimate above me, and pile drive me. I, I think I was just dead. I think I was just dead there. But anyway, big res off Mercy. Actually, really nice there. Oh, actually, really, really nice there of Batiste there, giving the uh, immortality feel to me as I get res. So now I can play that. All right, so... He okay, so Baptiste has used his... Amplification Matrix, and it's kind of okay there, because they are sort of pushing from that side. Uh, I think my decision, though, to engage the Hammond was probably right. Uh, we do have Tracer on the flank again. Hmm. I, like, I feel like I'm not really doing my job. Am I, oh, maybe I am. I think she got stunned and sucked at the same time. <laughs> Unlucky. Right, now I'm thinking... But I guess what I'm thinking here is I can just push because the enemy are so many players down. There's 13 seconds left. I've caught the Junkrat here, so we should be okay. Yeah. So that, that would be an easy kill. Yeah. And, and this is pretty much the... Ooh. Wow. 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 Look at the kill feed. Wow. Actually, so I didn't even realize this in the game, but we were super lucky there. That is a C9. That's actually a C9. Look at this. They have... Or is it a C9? I don't know, actually. Yeah, I'm going to say that is actually a C9. That is really unlucky. This Bastion has killed three of our team. That Mercy is rezzing their... Um... Hammond? <laughs> Look at Hammond. Oh, my God. So Mercy's rezzing the Hammond. And... The hair's gone mad. What the hell? Uh, yeah. Wow. And I'm in like a really dodgy position. I, I don't know. I think... I I mean, this is the difficult thing, right? What would have happened here? So I think what would have happened here is I would have killed the, the Batiste. The Bastion gets onto the point, but he's taking a lot of damage from these two. And the Hammond is back. In the, I don't know. We might have been able to hold that, actually. I don't know what the chat's going on about there. <laughs> There you go. Uh, I don't know. That I'm going to say that as a C9, man. Okay, let's go forward. Okay, so... This is the attack phase for us now. The enemy team... I believe, if memory serves me right, I'm just going to go Bunker Comp. I mean, Bunker Comp is what everybody does in this map because it's a terrible map. Like, Blizzard, your environment artists are absolutely the best in the industry. The map looks awesome. But this is just like, ah, it's so bad. Right, anyway, okay. And it's bad. I'm not just saying it's bad because, lol, it's bad. It's bad because it's just so open and it's so easy to abuse, giving defenders high ground position. In fact, I made an entire video on it, so I'm not going to go over it. We all know it's dodgy. Okay, so enemy comp is as follows. Um, bunker. But it's, well, it's, well, yeah, like they, instead of going for like hog, they've basically got a, um, a Torb and instead of the McCree, they've got a Hanzo. Now, to be fair, Torb pretty good. Uh, so this comp actually is going to be difficult for us to break. We're rolling out with pretty much the same comp, only this time our Bastion is Hanzo, which is fine, right? The reason why this is okay is Hanzo is pretty good at burning down the barriers. New McCree is decent as well. Hawk is obviously really good. So we can actually put quite a lot of pressure on this and, and, and burst through it. Although I think we have a bit of an issue. So let's go back on board with me because we're, we're interested in like what, like I'm using this to get better at the game myself. Not so much what my team are doing, because team comp and all of that is completely out of our control until we get some sort of roll cube. Come on, Blizz. Um, at which point, I probably will stream Overwatch, because then it won't be super frustrating, will it, guys? Hmm. All right, so. Barrier's gone down. It's been destroyed. Hog's dead. 
Alright, I'm doing the right thing here, waiting. There's not really anything I can do. We're probably talking in the comms, like, trying to organize some sort of push. Okay, so what you can see happening there is the Orissa, this is what you should always do if you're an Orissa player. The Orissa is throwing the orb. Let's slow this down because Hog should throw his hook out now. Uh, Orissa's throwing the orb above the um, the barrier so Hog can hook. The problem with this is this is into a Bastion which is set up and Bastion is just going to delete the Hog. So let's see if Hog goes through it. He should do. Yep. Does he get him? Not sure what happened there. Maybe Hog. I don't know what happened to Hog there. Anyway, let's see what happens. Oh dear. So I'm getting halted out. With Hog. Should be able to get away with that with the roll. Alright. Okay. So again, like this is what's frustrating with this point. We're having to wait now because we don't really have... Um, the team's not together. Somebody's been picked off. You need the whole team to push this, right? We've lost our hand, so we've just got to chill. Like, like, you can see how fast that barrier got deleted there. Like, there is no way I can use the barrier to put any kind of damage out. Because into a Bastion, into, like, well, into their entire team, they're just going to delete the barrier. So, I, I basically need to just wait here. I need healing. Um, I don't know. I don't really know why I've done that. I mean, that's probably just out of boredom. Like, I just want to do something, which is generally the worst thing to do. Because that probably means you're going to die. Now I need healing. You know what I've done there, don't you? I know what I've done. Um, I've rolled through. I've taken damage that I'm like, I need healing. So I even spammed the emote, didn't I? I need, I need healing. And then I've walked back. So Mercy could heal me. I've just been sucked out and died. So that was bad. All right, okay. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I remember, I remember. So I swapped hero now. Okay, right then. Why have I done this? So, so let me run you through why I've done this. Now, uh, our team... Oh, yeah, okay. So our team said we're going to change the dive at this point. Well, some sort... Well, yeah, yeah, we checked... Yeah, we must have done because we've gone to Winston and, and Diva. So I'm thinking, right, I'll take Farah because, yes, we've got a Mercy, but also Farah is super good because you can fire the Concussion Blast off this and it knocks people down. So it's actually a really good way of breaking defenses. Uh, you probably won't get Arissa because she'll probably, uh, you know, use Fortify, but it's actually kind of cheeky. And they might not expect me because I've been playing McCree. So let's see what happens here. Because I think I might, I think I knocked them off. So you can see I'm making decisions. Like I'm not just gonna go. Okay, I'm gonna keep using McCree because it's super hard to get McCree in, right? So McCree probably wasn't the best pick to begin with, anyway. But it's new McCree, so I was probably like, hey, I want to play McCree. All right, let's see what I do here. So, I'm gonna, yeah. So there you go. Okay, let's slow this down, right? So I fire that in. Let's see who we get. Let's come off this. So I fire that down there. That's actually. Yeah. Let's see what this does. So I've aimed directly for that. Let's see who we get off. Impact. Yeah, look at that. That is actually a huge... I am well done, Sty. Well done. That's actually a huge big brain play because that has screwed those two defenders. And it's knocked Arissa off as well. That, I mean, that's actually really good for Arissa to get knocked down. So this now gives our team a bit of a window of opportunity. The thing is... Uh, yeah, no, we are kind of ready to go. Okay, so Arissa's down. Torb's over there. What am I doing? Let's get back on board with me. The enemy is enemy turret ahead. So I am trying to fire through the shields there for the splash damage. The Fight into the wall. That's not particularly great. Mercy rest Anna though. Okay, now they're pretty much set back up. So I should. I need healing. Okay, uh, for some, uh, no. Yes, I remember this. So this is me asking for Mercy to heal me. Uh, but Mercy went in with the Winston and, I'm, and I realized, oh, that's what she should have done because Winston's diving, right? She shouldn't be here with me. She's not going to get any value. So I rocket jump, boost, go for another. Okay, this actually, okay, let's come away from me. So I go for another one of these and that knocks them all over the place. Now at this point now, our team are like, Actually, we've got a ton of value. So we killed their Bastion and we've displaced the enemy team, right? That concussion... I'm telling you, this concussion tactic for Farah is really, really good. So I've knocked them off there. Let's go on board with me and see what I do. Because I've isolated the Torb there. So I should I should kill the Torb. Uh, yeah, I'm firing at Torb. Is that going to be a direct? No. Okay, well, Torb's dead though to, to our Winston. Yeah, and we've basically broke the enemy team now. Now it's just a case of walking forward. 
and just fire rockets in. Like, I, I honestly, I, yeah, I, I think like after that, it was fine. Okay, let's discuss what happened here then. So I think there was a ton of issues with McCree at the start, which I need to weed out of my game. Um, things like shooting the deflecting Genji's madness. I don't know why I was doing that. Um, things like on the, with the McCree on the attack, I wasn't patient enough, and I don't know why I rolled forward. I, just, I literally was feeding, right? So that's bad. Uh, it was a good swap to Pharaoh, and it was good to use Concussion Blast to knock the defensive position down. So that was okay. That's probably something I do a lot now on that map, um, if I'm playing DPS, where I can just swap to it and, and sort of knock them down. Um... But I think, like, it was okay. But from that now, I've got a really strong image in my head of, yeah, I really need to stop firing deflecting Genjis. I don't know why I'm doing that. Anyway, guys, that's kind of how you do this, right? Uh, you, you go back and you look at your games and you think to yourself, right, try and be critical because you can be you can be your, worst, your own worst enemy, right? Because, I mean, it's yourself. It's fine. Um, I, I think... Obviously, as we get more replays, it'll be interesting to watch different things that go on. It'll be great when we can share the replays around as well. But yeah, do go and watch your own games, pal. Like, like right now, we have no excuse. Um, and there's actually a ton of reasons why you could watch a game back. So if you suspect somebody is a hacker or throwing in your game, well, now you can just watch them back. You've almost got nowhere to hide now with replays because everybody can watch you from your perspective. Also as well, you'll get those players that moan and attack other players. Maybe they say, your Reinhardt's playing terrible. But then if you go back and watch the replay, maybe your Reinhardt was actually playing really well and those guys who were moaning were playing bad. So you've got to really be tuned into that now, guys. So, I mean, always go out to try your best and play to win. But yeah, it's really cool. This is really, really cool. All right, guys, I've been Stylosa. This is Unit Lost. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember, you can follow me on Twitter, which is at Stylosa. Also, at Stylosa on Instagram. And I will catch you lovely lot on the next one. Toodaloo.